Hey everyone on YouTube, it's Sam here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 5.0.1 for iPod Touch 3G, 4G, iPhone 4, I think iPhone 4S, the iPad 1, not the iPad 2, um, and the iPhone 3GS, I believe. And uh, this works for Windows or Mac. I have links in the description to download this jailbreak, so just click on the link for your operating system, and then you're going to go here and click where it says down... Um, where it says click here to download the attachment so click it and then it will save and then you just go down here and depending on whether you're in Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, whatever you have there's different ways to get to it but for Google Chrome you go down here you click the little arrow and you press show in folder and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract it so first I'm just gonna drag it to my desktop and then minimize and then I'm going to go here and press extract all. And if you have WinRAR, you can just do extract here and it'll instantly extract it. But if you don't have WinRAR or 7-Zip, then just go here and just press extract all and then extract. And now you have the zip file. You can just delete that. And now you have this file right here. And this is the actual jailbreak file. So you're going to open it up, then open that up. And then here's Red Snow. So you're going to open it up, click Run. And it'll be different if you have, it'll be a little different if you have a Mac. And then just click Allow Access. And now you're going to get your iPod or iPhone or iPad, whatever you have, and plug it into your computer. So make sure it's just plugged into a USB thing on your computer and then plug it in and it should give a battery thing saying that it's charging and then you click on the actual jailbreak program you click jailbreak and then you're gonna put it into DFU mode alright so you're gonna enter DFU mode all you do to enter DFU mode is you first turn off your iPod so just go like this and turn off your iPod and wait for it to turn off Alright, so once it's turned off, what you're going to do is you're just going to hold down both the power and the home button. So power and home. You're just going to keep holding them down. And just wait for the Apple to go away. And then once it goes away, hold, just let go of the power button and just hold down the home button. So let go of the power, hold down the home button. And wait for it to enter DFU mode. Alright, so once it enters uh, DFU mode, you'll hear, you'll start hearing it connect to your computer and the jailbreak will automatically start. So, normally a little thing would come up and show that you're in DFU mode. It'll show a little cord and like an iTunes logo, but when you're doing the jailbreak, it's probably not going to show that. It's just going to start the jailbreak automatically. And so, once it does all that and it loads and everything, you can um, do all this stuff. So. I'm going to enable battery percentage and I'm going to install Cydia. You can do this stuff if you want, like enable multitask gestures, but the main things that you want is install Cydia and if you want to show battery percentage then you can check that too. And these will automatically already be checked. So just press next and then stuff will start to happen on your iPod. Just let it all, let, let Red Snow do its thing and it should work. Alright, so now it's gonna say it's gonna say done on the computer and then on your iPod you start to see all this stuff. Um, just let it keep going, don't press anything and it'll jailbreak by itself. Alright, so once it's out of that whole screen with all those letters and words this thing is going to come up and it's going to start to do the jailbreak. Now if for some reason it, this messes up your iPod and you're not able to turn it on or it just starts to mess it up, you can restore your iPod and all you do to restore your iPod is you go to iTunes, plug in your iPod and you click on your iPod in the little menu and then you click restore and that will restore your iPod back to factory settings and then you can re-download all your apps and try the jailbreak again if you want. This will most likely not mess up your iPod. It's a very, very small chance of messing up your iPod, but 
in the past, it has happened to some people where it messes it up, and you can just go into iTunes and restore your iPod to factory settings. After you see the, the little pineapple loading screen, it'll take about five minutes to do the entire thing. And so just be patient, let it go, and don't unplug your iPod, just leave it plugged into the computer the whole time. And then it'll reboot by itself, and just let it reboot by itself, don't press anything, and then it'll turn back on, and you can unlock your screen. And you should see Cydia, and if you see Cydia, then the jailbroke work. And just opens up Cydia. You can do user, hacker, or developer. These two, hacker and developer, that's if you're like gonna actually upload stuff to Cydia. So for most of you, probably just do user. And there. Then you press done. And Cydia will load up, and there you have it. And then you could download all your stuff from Cydia that you normally would in a regular jailbreak. So, I hope this video helped, and if it did, please subscribe to my channel for more tech videos like this. And if you have any questions, just comment on the video. And hopefully this will work for you. And have a nice day. Bye.